What does the future mean to you? Anybody? Go ahead. Well, I'm not going to college because mainly I didn't have the right subjects. So, as far as I know, I'm going into the service. Try and pick up an education in the Air Force. In other words, then your solution for your education is going to be in the Army. It wasn't in the schools. That's right. Uh, Dave? Well, uh, I don't think I'm going to be going to college because, uh, well, my marks haven't been quite up to par. I want to go out west, way out west. And, uh, you can have a little cent out there. I want to go out and be a plain, ordinary dirt farmer and get my living from the soil. I like it a lot. Uh, I think I'm suited for it. How about the rest of you? Well, you? I'd like to go into uh, business, business administration, possibly uh, sales engineering, if possible. I'm interested in meeting and talking with people, and uh, I think that's uh, my interest right now. Barbara? By the time you graduate high school, you're only about 18 or 19 years old. And uh, personally, I don't think anyone is actually ready to go out and face life. I mean, not that you're not ready to face life, but if you go and, as most kids who are, who graduate at 18, a lot of them go out and get married within a year or two, and there you are. You're all set up for life. That's the way you've got to live. <coughs> and you haven't any further education, and that's the only preparation you're going to have. And you, as far as I can see, most people stay around this vicinity wherever they're living, and that's the way they're going to be for the rest of their lives. Well, in other words, this early marriage business, you can't see I that. I definitely feel that way. This is what you've been uh, brought up for. That's right. To get married? To get married. Oh. I mean, uh, the greatest thing in the world, I think, is to have children. Miles. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, I don't... <laughs> uh, how do you know all this, Miles? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, uh... I just watch people and the way they're uh, way towards children, the way they bring up children, different ways. And it's, uh, I think it's the best thing in the world because uh, we had to be brought up too. I mean, Anthony, I don't think you should mix marriage and a career. If you're going to go to college and have a career and then decide to get married, I mean, after all, it's not fair to your husband or even if you had children, it's not fair to mix a career up to well, be out of the house. What do you say should be done? In other words, if you have a career, don't marry. Well, no, That's not all the saying. time. It depends on the kind of career you have. Well, give me, a, for instance, uh, Sheila, I, I want to know these things. Um, uh, <laughs> it would be something that would keep you away all day. So, I mean, what's the use of having children? What if uh, a, a, a woman is, very, is talented and she has something to offer and that... It, don't you think that it's really her duty to give something to society, that she should really help society? It's, I think it's just as much her duty to take care of her children. I believe also if you have children, you should stay home with them. Oh. But I'm speaking that I feel that when you're 18, that you're not ready just to go out and end up getting married. I think marriage is the final uh, thing that you should be looking forward to. And by going to college, you prepare for this also. Many of you, even when you leave, as far as you know, are definitely going to college. May I see a show of hands, please? Okay. How many of you would like to go, but because of financial reasons, let us say, are not going? That's me more. And uh, how many of you are not going to college? Now, this is interesting be because of this uh, reason. Now, during our conference meetings, we've been taking test after test after test. And these tests have proved conclusively, conclusively now, and when I uh, say tests, I mean intelligence tests, tests uh, that will show your mathematical abilities, your scientific aptitudes, whether you would be good in other types of fields. There's not one of you who has an IQ lower than 120. You have the aptitudes, you have the abilities. You can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer, you can be a journalist, you can even be a teacher. That's <laughs> all over my mind. Nevertheless, we have here a group of nine, and only three are going to college. And if this were just uh, Harding High that was involved, then the problem would be a minor one. But the point is this. This trend is all over the country. In other words, in the average high school in the United States, only one-third of those who should go to college do go to college. Now, what is the reason for this waste? And I think that we have to consider that it is a waste. Mr. Snyder, why, if there's just education in college so much, really, why does it have to be so expensive? I think that the fault is with the public because 
they take the responsibility for public educate for uh, education through high school, even though they may not want to, but they don't realize that it's necessary for them to take the responsibility for education through college for the people who are qualified and the people who need it. They want to have a better society, but they're not willing to do anything about it in giving um, education. They want to go ahead and build more rockets and all this, but they're not willing to do anything about it. Well, you can't avoid the fact that uh, scholars, uh, the, the people that want to go to school today, uh, the demand is much more uh, than the actual facilities of college. And uh, the colleges have to uh, broaden their, uh, broaden their uh, facilities because the students today uh, more and more are graduating from high school and more and more are demanding a college education. And uh, it's true that the colleges just can't supply it. I, I to answer Sheila's question. Um, I, told you, I don't know definitely what I want to be. Maybe after being out for a year or so, I might decide. Do you think that just doing nothing all of a sudden one day something's going to pop right into yeah, your no, head? No, you go to a job and then maybe you don't like it, that kind of job. But you can't try out every job. If you just no, I know that. Went, it, but if you went to college, in college you could take different courses that are related to different fields. And then it would give you, um, you get a broader knowledge of all the different fields just by sitting around. You can't try out all the jobs and um, all of a sudden you're not going to... No, I know that, but how now. definitely now can you say what you want to be right now? I don't know what I want to be, but I'm still going to college. Bonnie? What? Uh, which would you rather go to college and uh, try have the trial and error method there, wasting your money, or but, get out in the but world? But David, you're saying that college is wasting money. Anything you learn, when you learn something, is that waste? Well, not if you're not going to use it for your future. Uh, but how can you tell what life? you're going? Everything you learn, you always have to use. You always use what you learn. What's waste, Dave? I wish you'd explain well, that uh, to me. I, uh, now, say a person wanted to go into a liberal arts, and uh, they went to a liberal arts college, and they got to their junior year, and then, uh, well, if it was a fellow, say he decided to become an engineer. Those liberal arts really wouldn't help him in his occupation or his career. David, if you were going to be a baseball player, would you take just baseball during, um, you'd take baseball during college and you wouldn't learn anything else? I would. Because I'd make, the reason I'd take baseball was to make myself so proficient in that field. Then what if you broke a leg? Well, then you wouldn't know anything else. That's not the point. Yes, well, it is. Know. Yes, it is. Very good point. Well, uh, if, uh, if that's the case, what's, what's the, uh, well, what's liberal arts going to get you when you're halfway through college and you leave it off for something else and then you break a leg in that field? What do you do then? Dave, you're just talking about material gain. You're not talking about just for your, just for learning, the sake of learning. Is that wrong? Is that, I don't think that that's waste. That's right, because you can, for materialistic things, they can be taken away from a person, but anything you learn, that, that's yours. No one can take that away from you. Well, just what does a uh, liberal arts uh, do? I mean, what is the uh, field of liberal arts? I mean, we all, we all don't know what it is. It's just one big thing. To take courses in science and um, literature and languages, mathematics. You, you take, you sample every different field. It's not really uh, specializing. I think, uh, I think, Norman, that it contributes actually to a person as a human being. In other words, it's a, a person as a living person, not just concentrating as you're suggesting, Dave, I think, that we, we concentrate, right? You're going to be a farmer, and all you're interested in is dirt farming and nothing else, right? And this is your attitude that there isn't anything else that you have to, uh, that you have to know. This is what you're saying. Well, uh... Tell me this, what good is it going to do you to know that you know all about Shakespeare and uh, his contemporaries? It doesn't get you anything. It, it doesn't give, uh, get anybody in, in any enjoyment, because I know for a fact that 99% of the students hate yourself, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. You hit me right here. You're just talking about yourself, Dave. You're, you're assuming that everybody else hates Shakespeare. You're talking... Why don't you say, I don't, why don't you say, I don't like Shakespeare? Right. Don't say that 99% of the students don't like well, Shakespeare. Well, don't, don't everybody say that anyhow? No, I enjoy, I, I enjoy Shakespeare very well. The point is, is I don't, <laughs> I don't, 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 I